So here we have the Mini Cooper Countryman on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll notice we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with these three individually folding rear seats. Uh, these rear seats will also slide forwards and backwards in two sections to give you either more legroom or more boot space. Okay, so we're just going to uh, head back round to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in great condition the whole way round. So just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. Uh, there's many options on this car, one of which being the full leather interior. The rest I will run through as we go through the controls in this car. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Uh, we've got the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer in the middle here. And then at the bottom, you can see the total miles on this car are 24,530. You can change the information displayed above that using the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information, uh, the time, and then eventually back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls including voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. And then on the right hand side we have cruise control. These things are both optional on this car and come as part of the chili pack. Over in the centre Again, we have uh, the BMW Mini uh, optional satellite navigation screen, uh, which is controlled using this dial down here. So turning this will take us through the various options up on the screen, including satellite navigation. You can see that just there. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and on our Facebook page. It's well worth checking that out. If you want to listen to music, you can do There's a couple of ways uh, of doing it in this car. So firstly, with regards to the radio, you can see we have DAB digital radio, AM and FM available to us. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, that's done under the CD and multimedia heading. We have a CD player. We've also got USB input. We've got Bluetooth audio and we can stream uh, music that way. Uh, and then also at the bottom there, we have auxiliary input. Working our way down from there, we have the CD player and then climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed up or down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. When you're happy with all of those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on. Or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain 24 degrees by taking full control of the fan speed. Press auto again to go back to your previous setting. On a very, very hot day, jump in the car, press the max button, and the car will cool itself down as quickly as it can. Below that, we've got a few buttons, as you can see. So starting from the left, this one turns off traction control. This turns off the stop and start. So the car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that off. This one will lock the car doors from the outside or unlock them again. This will put the car in sport mode. So what that does is it makes the power steering feel firmer. It'll make the accelerator pedal react quicker to what you do. The whole car will just feel that bit sportier. And this is for the front and rear fog lights. And finally, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.